Friends, if you've been with me on this channel for an amount of time, you will know one of the things I love sharing around is the process or the journey of ascension. As the soul begins to awaken and becomes more enlightened, it becomes free of this earthly plane with all of its victimization and all of the low vibrational energy. And as your soul begins to ascend in its journey, you experience things oftentimes in your body and through your body. These are ascension symptoms. They are signs that your soul is on a mission. It's here serving a purpose and you are moving into the direction of your dreams. But for so many people, they don't understand what's happening with these ascension symptoms. I want to unpack for you today what's going on in the background because there are four things you absolutely need to know. And these are the four things that will release you to soar into your destiny. So come on, let's kick on into it. Hello glorious you, welcome to Elevate, I'm Ben and I sure am thankful for you. I love it when you come and spend time with me, so thank you for the gift of you. Would you please make sure that we are connected, that you subscribe to the channel? And friend, I'm going to ask you to participate in this video. There's, there's a place for you to take part, and it matters, because when you show up for yourself, you show the universe that you are serious, that you mean business, and something always happens energetically when you show up in that. So today, I'm going to encourage you and invite you to get involved with this, to put your money where your mouth is. When I share these four things with you, if any of it aligns with you, if it resonates with you, if you've noticed any of this in your life, would you drop me a comment and tell me about it? I'll stand with you as a company of faith. Because peculiar things happen as your soul begins to awaken. As your soul begins the journey and the process of enlightenment and awakening, we leave behind the victim and the trauma that have held us captive and we begin to spread our wings. Our spirit begins a journey and a process of ascension and as it does, there are signs and symptoms that go hand in hand with that and very often, people just don't understand. They don't understand what's going on and they seem like they push through and sometimes it can be very damaging. Let me tell you exactly what I mean. See, I want to encourage you to be gentle with your human because very often, and this is the first thing, very often these ascension symptoms are first noted in the human experience. Very often you might hear ringing in your ear. You might taste weird sensations, feel something in your teeth. You might notice a different sensation on the inside of you. You may notice headaches where you have never had them before. You might notice some physical changes in your body. Every time I talk to somebody about this, I start with the saying, be good to your human. This is the only human you get for this experience. Your human is just your spirit's vehicle of choice. It's like the car that the spirit uses to navigate the experiences of life. But if you wear the spirit's vehicle out through negligence, if you don't pay attention to something, if you write something off and you're not a good steward with the human, you can cut that short. And friends, no one wants shortness of days. What we want is length of days. So my encouragement to you is to be a good steward with your human. And if you are noticing peculiarities, ringing in the ears, physical changes, headaches, these sorts of things that very often come along in the process of ascension, I would encourage you, go and see your doctor, consult with an expert in the field first. Be good to your human. It's the only vehicle your soul gets this time around. So be a good steward. The next thing I'd like to encourage you with around these ascension signs and symptoms is to listen with your intuition instead of with your ears. And this is a learned skill, and it's a skill you can practice. Inside of every one of us, there's a still small voice. Inside of every one of us, there's a little gentle nudging. And that's the voice of the spirit. That's your intuition. That's your connection 
to the throne room. That's the connection to your higher self. Have you ever wondered why sometimes you say things like, I was saying to myself just the other day, or I asked myself, self, why did I do this? And then I said to myself this, and then I thought I'm crazy. Have you noticed we use this framework of language, but we don't even understand what it means? Who was the self who was doing the talking? Who was the self that was listening? We live in duality. There are two of us. There's the human that we see in the mirror. That's the spirit's vehicle of choice. Inside of the vehicle is the spirit. My encouragement to you is to incline your ear to the voice of the spirit. You hear the spirit in your heart. It takes a process to start walking this, but as you go through a process of ascension, you will begin to notice your intuition kicking into a new gear. My encouragement to you is to begin to honor that, and pay attention to that intuition, act on that intuitive thinking, and then spectate at the results. Keep a watch of the results that unfold. That's how you train your spiritual ear. Did I get it right? Did it unfold the way I thought it might? Was the intuition correct? Every time you listen to your inner voice and you make a decision that brings honor to that, you train yourself to listen to that intuition. You train yourself to listen to that spiritual ear. It's so important during the process of ascension. Have you experienced increased intuition? Well, it's your time, friend. I want to encourage you to pay attention to the energy of repeated cycles. Oftentimes in life, we don't get to move from where we are until we pass the small test. And it's the small test that oftentimes keeps us all going around and around in circles. The test comes and you know that it's come because you sense it. It's the same energy. The people are different. But it's the same energy. The conversation is different, but it's the same energy. You recognize, aha, this is exactly like what happened last week or last month or a year ago. Now I have an opportunity to make a better decision. If there are cycles in your life that repeat, if you bounce from employer to employer and yet seem to have the same issues in the workplace, it's not the workplace. If you bounce from relationship to relationship and the same problems unfold in everyone, it's not the relationship. It's us. The sooner we acknowledge that it's very often not the world, but it's very often in fact us, the quicker we can get to grips with the work that we have to do. See, you repeat a cycle until you've done the inner work that allows you to move forward. The cycle only repeats until the work is complete. Put that in the comments down below. Repetition reinforces learning. The cycle only repeats until the work is complete. So if you find yourself in another dysfunctional workplace, if you find yourself with another partner who's just turning out to be a jerk, if you find yourself with less than enough money, if you find yourself with health concerns in your body, if you find yourself with the same problems at home, in your friends groups, it's not the world, it's us. The cycle will repeat until the work is complete. Look inside, not out. Go inside of yourself to find the answers to these repeating cycles. And the last area that I'd love to encourage you in that always affects people as they begin to ascend is the encouragement to guard your heart. The scripture put it so beautifully when it says, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it spring forth the issues of life. That means everything you experience Everything you go through comes from your heart. All of the things to do with your life come from the wellspring that is your heart. And if you don't stand as a gatekeeper to the energy that you allow in, then you can't control the energy that is poured out. So if you are in relationships with people that are dysfunctional, if you hang around people you know you shouldn't, if you go to places where you know the energy isn't right and you keep showing up and you keep doing these things, what eventually happens is you're not guarding the energy that's coming in and so that same energy begins to be poured out and you begin to reap the harvest of that energetic investment and it's, it's not the harvest you want. This is why the world is full of well-intentioned, good-meaning people 
who reap harvests every day. They say, I don't want this. I don't, I don't want this depression. I don't want this brokenness. I don't want this lack. I don't want this turmoil. And yet it's simply the harvest that has grown from the seeds they have sown. And that's not even intentional. It's because of the people they permit to invest into their lives, the energy they allow to pour into their lives. Be a good steward with your heart. Guard it with all diligence. I don't mean become hard-hearted. What I mean is pay attention to the areas that profit your soul. Guard your heart. Now, friend, if any of these four have aligned with you, if you've had anything in your journey to where you've thought, I need to guard my heart, maybe this is a repeating cycle. If any of this has resonated, tell me in the comments down below, because your journey of ascension will grow stronger from here. As you are mindful of these four facts, they will bolster you, support you in your journey and give you the strength you need to see the other side of this. Now, I love you, friend. And I can't wait to spend more time with you. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave me a comment. See you soon.